All right, so we're going to be starting with the match. Looking good. Three, two, one. J-Tail's going the iconic Diddy Kong. Starting with the command grab side view. Ooh, Hydrin is definitely Hydrin's coming to play a immediately. A big annoyance in this match, being there's going to be two of them. Oh, no, actually. They're just jigging both attack after. It's not going oh, he's going jigs this time. Yeah. Uh, J-Tail's with usual Diddy combo. Who has? Or who ha singular. Maybe uh, he's going jigs with his matchup because of Diddy? For That's possible. For skipping yeah, yeah, opportunities? Yeah. That makes sense. Uh, I feel Villager would have a problem. Because Villager, hey, Villager needs a good amount of time to do some sort of setup. And uh, with Diddy Kong and Sonic, well, it'll, it'll be a little harder with both being relatively fast characters. He won't have the opportunity to do setups as easy. Ooh. Okay. Just barely missing what could have been again. Or not really again, 78%. Well, yeah, I can okay. say that again. The water actually messed up that team combo from uh, Red Team there. He tried to do back throw to up smash, but he ended up smashing his partner instead due to the water. Gotta, gotta be wary. It's more like Ooh. a 2.5 V2 with that hydrogen in there. Unfortunately, Cindy uh, knocked out his partner there. He's expecting his partner to get up, but he let go of the ledge. Ooh. Quite unfortunate there. Tails with a banana slip on ledge. Pac-Man will grab. All right. Pac-Man got the Ooh. bell. Okay, good up B. Spring uh, comes out on fray frame one. Does it? Yes. Frame one, and you can't block it. So if you're shielding, it automatically knocks you out of your shield. Wow. Good dash attack. Yeah, good oh, point. and he well, got out of the force. I wonder if he smashed the eye there. Yeah, he only got hit by one hit. The second hit didn't connect. Ah. Uh, J-Tails with a great offstage edge guard. Okay. Good team combo. Uh, Jigs with the nuke. Ooh, Ooh, that was an interesting trade. Uh -huh. Cindy's still living. Oh, Ooh, wow. That and, shield. And Jigs is living after that. I thought it would definitely be The shield gone. almost broke, though. It and was not even three seconds more, and it would have actually been broken. We had three stocks to six. Oof. Well, it, it could it could be three to four soon if they, if they you know, yeah. get, if they get um, you know, the next stock. Yeah. They, got, they already got the stock off Sonic, so that's a good start. Yeah, Diddy's still bleeding. Diddy's yeah. bleeding, but it, he's still there, and that's bad for them because they don't want Diddy, you know, consistently bleeding but staying alive. Jigglypuff over the grab. Not gonna kill with a back throw. Forward throw might have been a better option, but I'm not quite sure. I don't play Jiggly enough, enough to really know. Oh, we got three stocks to four. That's not, not looking so too bad. Not, not, not so bad. Uh, Sonic's bleeding a little bit. Uh, Ninja Link has to go play a doubles match. I will be accompanied by Dr. Eggplant. All right, Dr. Eggplant's hacking in here. Hacking in. <laughs> Elite Hacker XL. No, it's hacking in. It was just my oh. bad voice. It's okay. You know, it's, it's your company that matters. Ooh, the whiff on the, the grab for Pac-Man. Right, so Sonic and Vino got some catching up to do. Yeah, but it's, it's, it's not entirely impossible. Ooh, Hydrant hitting Jigglypuff. You don't want to see that. Jigglypuff out. Are they going to take stock? I highly doubt it. Pac-Man's looking kind of, oof, it's bleeding a little. Ooh, I don't know if that, I'm pretty sure that bell was an accident. All right, Wes is being nice and patient. They don't want to be jumping all over each other in this two-on-one. Whiffs the grab. Ooh, the banana peel for a good team combo. This is the down tilt, but, you know, it doesn't perfectly matter. Pac-Man's still offstage. Okay, what I like is that J-Tails and Wes are avoiding the mistake that a lot of people make in doubles uh, when it's two-on-one, which is being all over each other. Trying to get all over the one person left. West can, when uh, when Pac-Man's on the ledge, uh, they can both cover all of his options. Diddy Kong staying near, you know, just in case shielding, just in case you know, he does get up attack or even just regular attack. Diddy Kong can do practically anything really. The Dante would be, I guess, the optimal one. And then should he roll into the stage, Sonic is just waiting there. He could do down smash, you know, kill him relatively easily. Ooh, trying to go for the... All right, Sinji being very evasive right now, though. Ooh, that great back throw, using the platform to get the kill. Pac-Man still has one more stock, though. Uh, one stock to four. It's not particularly impossible if Sinji plays relatively safe, but safe is not going to help too often. Yeah. Trying to go for those grabs. Yeah, I definitely like option. that decision to just have Sinji keep his stock because it seems like Sinji's playing really evasive right now. Oof, whiffs the up smash. Just get in those hits in when he can, and then get into safety. Mm -hmm. Pac-Man's playing relatively well, you know, keeping safe. 
using the Hydrant to space out his opponents, but DAOS and JTOS have no reason to go up near. They're up three stocks. Ooh, the beautiful team combo with uh, down throw from Sonic to up smash from Diddy. Uh, DAOS and JTOS have to have pretty good synergy. JTOS is going to, from what I know, JTOS hasn't appeared to, at Nebs often. Uh, last time I remember was actually relatively long time ago, but he's been keeping up with the scene. Uh, it's yeah. nice to see familiar face. He was definitely in hibernation for a while, but we're seeing right here the nerfs do not even matter to him. Uh, he's playing Diddy the best way that Diddy can be played right now. JTOS has been the original Diddy. Ooh, trying to go for the ledge trump, not quite getting it. Ooh, gets the back air though, and that will be the game. Uh, it's first game, Diddy Kong, Sonic. Yeah. I was actually talking to members of both these teams before, and both of them were practicing a whole bunch of setups, so I think we're going to see uh, some interesting moments of synergy from both teams. Uh, hopefully, you know, the second match goes, I guess, better for Sinji and Vinyl. I'm going to take my leave. I have a doubles match to play. Uh, going to go solo for a bit, I guess. See you after this match. All right, so don't worry, guys. We still got Dr. Eggplant here. He's showing you some love. Making sure to say some random and hopefully interesting things about this matchup. Ooh, okay, Wes and JTails already getting a good amount of stage control. But then again, the edge is where Villager often likes to live. Okay, we've got a lot of back and forth from every player right now. Right. The tricky thing about this is that I would say that both Villager and Pac-Man are characters that can do pretty well while hanging out on the ledge, so even when it seems like they have bad stage positioning, uh, they are seem to be pretty comfortable on the ledge and know how to get back safely and put out an, put out an attack. Ooh, very nice bowling ball, catching J-Tails there. Oh, and it looks like Sinji went way too deep trying to go after J-Tails and Gimp him, and both of them lost their stock, so now things are pretty even. <laughs> Ooh, all right. The final has... The final has a hydrant in his pocket. Root out. Super close match right now. Ooh. It's <laughs> it seems like they're basically trading stage control right now, and uh, J Tails and Wes are just trying to be really aggressive and take these guys out. Okay. Sinji and Vinyl just trying to, you know, get some hits on J Tails and West right there. Right, Sinji and Vinyl is trying to find some kind of way to make it back to the stage, but with Diddy's projectiles, it's definitely not easy. No, oh, J-Tails is just letting Wes hang out there on the side. Or, I guess Wes is letting J-Tails chill there, knowing that J-Tails is doing a pretty good job in that two-on-one. Okay, looks like J-Tails does not even need Wes's help right now. 
Every time Sinji and Vinyl go after him, he just knows the exact way that they're going to approach, and it's just getting them away from him. Right, right now, it's still anyone's game. Sonic could get taken out at any moment. Alright, these guys are shouting in the middle of their match right now. They're having more fun than an average double set for sure. Okay. Sinji gets a very nice F smash read. Right, J Tails was trying to push Vinyl into a corner, but Sinji's Hydrant was there backing him up. Sinji is doing a good job of putting out that Hydrant in a place where it's going to make uh, J Tails and West have a hard time approaching and being aggressive against Sinji and Vinyl. Okay. Okay, here we go. Vinyl took out Wes, and now we've got a two-on-one situation. The opposite of what happened the last round. But j -Tails is definitely going to have to play very safe and work very hard because he does not have an extra stock like Sinji had the last round, and it's one-on-one -on -one just like that. Neither of them is wanting to approach the other right now. They're just trying to see what they can throw out and find some kind of opening. Ooh, j -Tails with a very brave side B over there, just jumping right over Sinji, and luckily does not get punished. Ooh, Sinji is just keeping up that constant barrage. And... It looks like J-Tails is searching, just searching for a way to get in on that wall of hydrants and fruit. He's throwing the whole fruit stand at him. Ooh, this could be J-Tails opening. But unlike a lot of characters, Pac-Man is not too helpless when he's above you because he does have that hydrant to throw down. Alright, Jay Hill seems to be learning few openings in Sinji's strategy right now where he can start to get aggressive and there we see him throwing out that forward air. Ooh, and j -Tails gets it with the down smash read. Very bread and butter read for j -Tails right there, but you know that's what wins you games. But we definitely saw an excellent performance from Sinji and Vinyl, uh, especially that last round. Could have been anyone's game. All right, we've got Mr. Mike Kirby and Devin coming up.
All right, guys, we have a rare occurrence here. It looks like we are actually going to see a double Kirby team. Should be very hype. I like to think of it as Boo and Majin Boo, or maybe two other different versions of Boo. I'm assuming a lot of you guys grew up with Dragon Ball, know that reference. Right, I think we have SBF Leo coming back for some assistant commentary. So I don't have to think of random shit to say all the time. I can let this guy think of some random things to say. I put my headset on backwards. I am really smart. All right, so it looks like we're going to see a double Kirby team here. Mike Kirby and Devin. On a scale of one to ridiculousness, I have to say this is pretty ridiculous. Yeah. Double Kirby. I don't you think know. of it as maybe like Boo and Majin Boo or something like that. That's pretty much what's going on, except they're both Kirby. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they are both the same character, but DK I mean, Will they and are definitely going to have different play styles. I don't know who the other one is. Oh, uh, Wait, are you sure? DK Will and uh, Fire, right? Wait, Fire though, not Firewire. Yeah, Fire though. No. Thank you. 